so guys um, in case it's your first time here before i start this please ensure that you're subscribed and please turn on your notification bell so you wouldn't want to miss anything here guys and this is how our small bars look like in my neighborhood here so straight this is actually uh alcohol in process already this is where it starts from generally after grinding this is millet so it's grinded and mixed in water and then it soaks like and hidden under the ground for like a week uh purpose is to make it like ferment and make it an alcoholic so it's covered in this cover as you can see here the polythene bag and then you keep the soil on top of it and make it stay in there with the heat with everything for one good week so guys as you can see the environment is really unique and yes uh like i told you initially it's unique for a purpose a lot of things vegetable right here this is also food because the owner of this place actually stays here so she has to get good stuff right from here like there are things that she does not really buy you can see sugar that are right behind me in the background so like i showed you the other flower which is dug and hidden under the ground for like a week after removing it out this is how you roast and it turns out like golden brown very beautiful color and this is i could say this is alcohol in in in, in like solid form or flour something because that right there if you just eat it will actually make you drunk <laughs> you won't believe it if you eat that for like long it will make you drunk so after that it comes to this as you can see it's again soaked in water for some days and this is now where the real chemistry happens i think i think you notice some kind of bubbles I, I'm not sure if you're able to see, but there's some kind of like bubbles popping out. If you're keen, you're going to notice it. So just know chemistry is here happening, guys. This thing is turning into conk conk alcohol. And if you drink this, your stomach will be like every time full and <laughs> you won't really feel hungry. So right after that, you just keep on adding hot water and then make it um the pots which I use. I think I'm going to show you along the way. So these are the containers. Now you pack them in the containers with hot water just add in some hot water on top of that mixture then you fix in the straw and guess what you're just yeah, i don't even know how to say it. you're just drinking alcohol so you see how the chemistry works so here like i told you earlier on these are the straws they use for drinking and i can tell you it's also at right here because i showed you uh the things which are mixed and put in the pot and because you don't want to drink the solid particles all you want is just the water or the, the fluid coming from it so this is kind of a sieve right at the end point of the the straw because you fix it inside the straw this is the part that enters inside the straw so you make sure this sieves it really clean and you don't drink any dirt by the way so what comes here is just the pure alcohol and that is what i told you earlier on that what we saw on the compound here looks like waste it is not waste now that is the end product of what remains under the pot and it's right here in my language we call this thing i don't know if you would know this but in case it's there in your clan or in your tribe please let me know how you call it in your language and as you can see right here i told you earlier on it's not waste i think you've noticed chicken is feeding on this and also it's fed to pigs and it's really really nutritious guys i even know how much to say but just feed your chicken or your any bird any bird on this or uh, on this product see and trust me the end results will be something you just i don't know you won't even believe that those are your own chicken because they'll grow so fat in just a very short way so even your own pigs guys so guys like i told you they keep adding hot water into that mixture this right here is a point where hot water stays constant there's constant hot water here and it never gets off this place so this fire is like there throughout for as long as the customers are here to drink this fire is always on with a lot of hot water because that is like i could say i don't know one of the biggest component of the alcohol hot water and that is why you see this place very stand by waiting in case any customer comes up right now hot water is here ready to serve and right next to this hot water guys I, I could say the powerhouse because i told you this guys is a lot of flour here a lot like a lot and right here is a grinding mill she made it actually very easy she has her own grinding mill right here so anytime any like even in the middle of the night she can just wake up and grind her flour and i can tell you the stock here is just i don't know raw materials millet flour stuff like everything here is just like i can like you can see the setup everything here is just flour 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 guys 
So, and then right here is just um, the shelter for the customers to sit. And right inside here, guys, is where the, I could say the real bar is. These are the pots they use for um, putting the alcohol and people sit in circles, in groups. And as you can see, actually, the setup of the chairs, they're arranged in a manner that it's circles. So the pot is placed right in between and everyone gets their own straw from the same pot. So guys, I'm washing my hands to go and <laughs> So this is the one which is actually ready for for drinking. And you first have to shake it a bit like this. You mix. So this particular container here is 2,000 Uganda shillings, which is, uh, I don't know how to say, not, not, not like half a dollar. It's more than half a dollar, I could say. Now this, what you're seeing here, is picked from it's this very thing here which is on top so i'm just going to throw this a bit here and you know why i think you're going to notice when i pour the water you're going to notice everything just swells up so let's go for some hot water so you can add this until it comes to the top because even if it gets done we are still going to add more water that is the beauty with it you just keep adding water into it like that this is what i told you about guys how the thing just rises on top after adding the other i don't even know how, how to call it again the millet product we added in so this is taken right here where we are supposed to sit <laughs> All these ones are not yet washed and I'm just going to get them. Let me just wash this. This right here. And I use this. So this is shared by everyone who comes here, the straws. So you have to wash it and make sure it's clean. So the hot water passes through and cleans it really neat. Then you dip this part again before you hand over to your customer. There we go. And since I'm the customer, I'm going to hand it over to myself. <laughs> Here we go. So you dip this. <laughs> I shake it a bit like that. It's warm in the mouth. Not really hot, but warm. <laughs> and you feel like, I think it, it makes people full. That is what I've noticed. Because whoever drinks this has a big stomach. So it feels like I'm just eating food or something. So I'm going to eat. Apart from the warmness, it comes to the mouth also sour. 